يؤتي الحكمة من يشاء ومن يؤتى الحكمة فقد أوتي خيرا كثيرا وما يذكر إلا أولو الألباب السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله اللهم علمنا ما ينفعنا وانفعنا بما علمتنا وزدنا علما يا رحم الرحيمين We ask Allah Azza wa Jal teach us what benefit us benefit us from what he taught us and increase us in knowledge Ameen Ya Rabbil Alameen My dear beloved respected brothers and sisters I ask Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala to protect us all from any harm Tonight in our WOW series we will be quoting Imam Ibn Al-Qayyim Rahimahullah when he said للعبد وقفتان أمام ربه وقفة الصلاة ووقفة القيامة فمن أحسن في الأولى تهن عليه الثانية ابن القيم رحمه الله said the servant stand in front of Allah twice the first is when he is performing salat in this dunya and the second when he stands in front of Allah on the day of judgment whomsoever carries out the rights of the first standing properly then the second standing will be easy for him Allahu Akbar my brothers and sisters the quote today is about our salat we all know that Rasulullah told us that the first thing we will be questioned about on the day of judgment is our salat. If it's good, everything will follow. And if it's not good, everything will follow. Ibn Qayyim also, he said something beautiful. He said, when it comes to salat, people are of five levels. The first level is the level of the one who is negligent, heedless. He does not give the salat its rights. He does not pray on time. The wudu is careless. So he is literally negligent about the salat. That's the first person. The second person, he does the salat on time. He gives the rights of the wudu, but he is taken away by his stray thoughts. So he is constantly concentrating on fighting himself, fighting his thoughts. He's thinking about work, thinking about home, uh, thinking about school. The third person is a person that also giving the rights of the Salat and the Wudu. But this person is fighting the Shaitan, the whispers of the Shaitan constantly. So this person, he's engaged in Salat and Jihad at the same time. Now the fourth person is a person who stands in the Salat, perfect its Wudu, perfect its on time. Uh, he is fully concentrating with khushua and he is doing his best to have a perfect complete salat his heart is in the salat the fifth person is the person who does what the fourth is doing but he adds to it something else along with that he places his heart before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He beholds Allah in front of him. He is filled with love and glory to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He is praying as if Allah is actually watching him. He's aware of every single move. He's a person that cannot wait for the next time to pray. Allahu Akbar. May Allah make us from these people. Huh? So Ibn Al-Qayyim continued. He said, the, as for the first person, he will be punished because he is negligent. As for the second person, he will be admonished. As for the third person, he will be redeemed. And the fourth person will be rewarded. But the fifth person, he is actually drawing closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So which one of the five are you? 
Are you neglecting the Salat and the Wudu? Yalla, quick everything. Or are you concentrating and trying to fight all the time? Or you're really, really into the Salat and you cannot wait for the next Salat. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us, if not from the fourth, uh, make us from the fifth, inshaAllah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us from the people who are constantly struggling and striving to improve their Salat. I love you all for the sake of Allah. Subhanak Allahumma bihamdik. Nashad an la ilaha illa ant. Astaghfiruka wa natubu alik. In tajtanibu kabaira ma tunhawna anhu nukaffir ankum sayyatikum wa nudkhilkum mudkhalan kareemah.